Hello, welcome to my channel. This is my Sleeping Giant save with Bruce and Munch and Gladback trying to bring back the glory days of the 70s and the 80s where they were winning Bundesligas and European titles and stuff. Um, and yeah, it's going quite well. You were with us last for the UEFA Champions League game. We lost 3-2 at Seville. Managed to scrape a one all draw against Arsenal, which got us through to the... Uh, we were in the top 24, so we're now playing in that first round of games of 16 teams, and the winners of those will play the top 8 uh, in the last 16. Since you were with us then, we beat Mainz 3-1, totally dominated the game. Um, made it a little bit difficult for ourselves just before half-time, but come out second half, put on a good performance. We then travelled to Borussia Dortmund. 2-0 up in 20 minutes, I couldn't believe it, I, I was, you can imagine what I was like, you, you know how I get when we're winning, uh, to be winning 2-0 at Borussia Dortmund, but they penned, pegged a goal back just before after a stupid penalty, um, and then yeah, we, we hung on second half, I thought we're going to do this, because it was, you know, 95th minute they got an equaliser, and I thought it was offside, which I invariably often do, but anyway, 2-2 with that one. And then we've just played Cone, local local derby. We comfortably beat them 2-0, never in any doubt. And that means that for the, the league at the minute, we're sitting comfortably in third place. And yeah, happy. Half a dozen get well, uh, what, half a dozen or ten games ago, I was fear, fearing the sack. The start of the season, we carried on where we left off last year. Do you remember last season, we had a cracking first half, had the World Cup and the winter break, and then the second half, we just fell away. I thought, hey, we're gonna, you know, gonna do all right this season. We're in a better place. But the first half was absolutely, and, and I honestly, I, I went down to a C minus on the board for the vision, thinking I was going to get the sack. We managed to scrape a few wins around here, uh, intermingled with defeats in the Champions League, and of course Bayern. We, we were never going to win that. But after this, we we won five one and five nil, which which was good results. I changed the tactics, and the only change I made was here. I changed it from positive to balanced just to sort of feel my way into games and I haven't looked back I can't believe that something like that would make a difference I haven't looked back and more importantly when you've got a club vision and you look at the supporters oh, it doesn't say it here um, inbox I'm sure I've just this minute had an update off the fans have to bear with me a second while I look for it. Perhaps not. <laughs> Perhaps we won't. The fans were really impressed and we carried on playing our attack. It might have been on the on start of a game actually, so I'm not going to find out, am I? So anyway, today we, we we've drawn PSV Eindhoven in the in the in the Champions League. Okay, so um, this is the first leg, so we're going to watch play the first leg at home and then the away leg today. Not a lot of changes to make in the team. Okay, the team's pretty settled. This is our starting eleven. The getting used to the ta how I really mess the tactics up when we were losing, and probably that's why we had such a bad first half. I was sort of tactic changing randomly, and it wasn't helping at the end of the day. So I I made a resolution. I'm not going to change the tactic. This is what it is for now. Uh, and yeah, I've just tweaked these a little bit. And this one, and I am playing a little bit around with Mizalas at the minute in the middle, just to see if it makes a difference. Um, and we'll see. So anyway, team today then is Lafont in goal, Posh, Scholl, Pavol, uh, Pavlovic, and Nets across the back with Danilo as the only midfield player. Kone and Vigo uh, playing the Mizala role in central midfield. Schiederlup, who was just one young European footballer of the year. Um, I'm hoping it'll tell you on his biography. Uh, I also remember uh, when European Conference League Young Player of the Season. That's for this season. He's got World Cup Under-21 Footballer, World Under-21 Footballer of the Year, uh, third place, and won the European Golden Boy. That's the one I was trying to get to. Absolutely amazed with the player, you know. Um, so yeah, going really well with Bard Bardio, Bard, yeah, Bardi out wide right. Um, He's a new signing. Remember, we sold Tales, which I was gutted about, but he wanted to go. He wasn't happy. So, yeah, that's where we're at. So, you know, this guy, sorry, that's Vigo. This guy's sort of coming in. He's got the tactic. He's got the stats. It's just whether he's going to play. He's fighting for the place with Tete. I feel a bit sorry for Tete because he's got some cracking stats too. 
he just doesn't ever seem to fit into my team. I'm not sure why. And Burkhart up front. I've got a love-hate relationship with Burkhart. He scores lots of goals and he causes a lot of grief by missing loads of goals. So, especially when we need him. So anyway, that's the team for today. Okay, I've only selected nine substitutes. Silly boy. That's because I haven't really got anybody else. No point going to the youth because they're all out on loan. So yeah, that, that's the team for today then. I'm hoping for a good performance. I'm hoping for a, a strong strong showing at home. Win our own games and, and worry about the away games when we get there. But it would be nice to um, pick up the points here. Get the, get the winning money and go from there. So yeah, this is a team. This is the biggest game for Borussia Mönchengladbach in many, many years. Probably two to three decades, I would guess, since they were playing at this level. Um, and yeah, let's see how it goes. Danilo's, since he's come in, he's been fantastic. If you remember, I forgot to select him in the squad for the first knockout part. Well, the league, oh, Kone, uh, for the league part, which he wasn't happy about. And neither was I, to be honest. As soon as I clicked... Um, submit squad and then the headline come up that shocked Danilo left out I was gutted because he is one of my main midfield players so how I'd done that I don't know must start paying more time Rudy's in and that's cross that that's a cracking finish I thought he was only going to cross that I didn't realise he was going to be able to get that in from that angle I really didn't but that's a cracking start against PSV I'm happy with the draw actually it could have been a lot worse you know for this this round um we could have pulled one of the big boys out because Milan and everybody's in there. So I'm, I'm quite glad there that we. Uh, what a finish! What a cracking finish that was. Posh as well. Remember last season he was going. I, I, I wasn't going to keep him, but we're settling down. We're playing well. We've had some good news with the boardroom as well. They've increased the budget for the youth recruitment, youth coaching. We've got new training facilities for the youth, new training facilities for the first team. So, yeah, they're getting behind the team as well, which is nice to see. And Rooney again, and he's... Oh, I thought he got his second hand. What the hell? What's going on? Oh, why did we not go flying in there, Alfred Leather? I'd have put the lot in the net in my day. I was a goalie, so I wouldn't have. I'd have tried to clear it all out. But 1-0, um, and we're looking good. 30 minutes in. Shined up with a corner. Scholl is a new boy from Bayern that we signed. He's um, This is his second um, full appearance. And oh, showed up! What happened there? I thought we were in for a second goal. Would be nice to get a little bit of breathing space because we do tend to fade off with the tactic I'm using uh, towards the second half. That's headed clear, and my Luke, whatever his name is, nets again. But no, nothing's come of that. We're totally dominating, aren't we? Do you know we could get into the last 16 of the, of the European Cup? Borussia Dortmund are already out. They lost, I think it was 3-2 on aggregate across the two legs. Not sure how it's working because a lot of the teams have played both their legs and this is our first leg. So, And I'm going to really play these up because I am. We've had lots of shots. We're doing well. I just hope we can keep it going second half and build on this because I think we need more than 1-0. Um, not sure how we're going to travel away in this competition now. We've struggled... Uh, and that's 2-0. That's a lovely header from Kone after good work and a left by Scheiderlup. And the team's coming together. It's settling in. It's playing well. Scheiderlup's going to be... If I can keep him, and he has just signed a new contract, Scheiderlup's going to be an absolutely amazing player for the club. Burkhart as well. Um, he's signed a contract, but like I said, whether he is long-term, I, I, I think he's a little bit on a small side. I... I I need to start thinking about going six foot plus and I've got an injury there guys. Sorry, I know we're on a highlight, but I'm gonna to have to pause it. Oh, it's the new guy so Tete can get a run out straight away. So I'm not taking any risks with injuries because there's still a long way to go in this season. And I know that I have to qualify for Champions League next season. And Kune's running through, he's got it through to Burkhart, and that's a cracking finish, three nil. And we could very well put this tie away tonight in this leg oh what do you mean there was nothing wrong with that thank you I hate it when they do that really winds me up it's just like real life isn't it you can see immediately there's nothing wrong with it you've got to wait 10 minutes for VAR actually it was a bit tight wasn't it you've got to wait 10 minutes for VAR to come up with a verdict so um, confirm yet because he's injured so why wouldn't I 
I haven't zoomed in quite as close to date, guys. I've had a hard day at work. Not looking my best, so I thought I'd, I'd be kind to you all and keep the camera out a little bit. But, um, here we go, 67 minutes. We'll play a few more. Right, we're up to 70. 3 0 up. It's time to rest the big guns. Posh can have a rest. He's been playing really well. I'm going to give Walde a run out. Oh, I want to give Nets a break. I'm going to bring in Mickey van der Ven. He's, I'm really struggling with him. He's, he's angry that I didn't sell him. I offered him out twice. Nobody wanted him. And I thought, well, I've tried. But he doesn't think I did. I don't want to do that, do I? I'll put Burkhart there and then bring Oscar Gluck in. So that's four. And I've got Nyhouse on. I'm going to rest Kone. So that's it. That's all the substitutions made at 70 minutes, so we're in for a penny, in for a Deutschmark, although it's a euro now, isn't it? So, um, 3 0, 85 minutes, ticking the clock over. That would do nicely. That's not a bad day's work, is it? Look at the stats. Well worth the win. You can put, take a bow, lads, because that is an absolutely fantastic first leg performance. That's how to perform in Europe really is and I don't know whether we've got a league game now that's cracking absolutely crack like I said we could have had a much tighter draw um, than what we've got I'm quite happy with that and I didn't see so yeah we've got Freeburg next I'm gonna leave it there and we'll see you for the return leg of the European Cup and we're back for the PSV second leg uh, midweek we went away to Freiburg and had a comfortable 2-0 win. As you can see, the team was hugely rotated. Not a lot of first team starters in there for the game and I was pleasantly surprised that we got the 2-0. So that means now, sorry gents, that means now then that we're sitting quite comfortable in third place. We've got a three-point lead now over Dortmund, so we've come from way off to, to close the gap on them. We're only six points behind Leipzig, but they're constantly winning, so that's going to be difficult to break them down, although they did draw last game. So yeah, we're here for the second leg against PSV. And I'll be happy with a 0-0 or, or anything. Anything less than a 3-0 defeat is, is, a, is a win if that makes sense um yeah well happy like i said this is only our second full season with Borussia Mönchengladbach is that the truth i'm pretty sure it is only season two yeah it is um no it's our third season sorry I'm, i've i blame me age it's our third season because first season we qualified for europa league um Conference League lost in the final. That's right. So this is our third season with Borussia Mönchengladbach, and we're into the last. I suppose it's the last 24, isn't it? Sorry, I've made a mistake there. I'm sure it's the last 24 we're into. That's the way you would probably say it. So even though the first eight get the bye into the second part of this knockout, um, so the team we're going with today then is Lafont in goal. Posh van der Ven Pavlovic, blah, 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 Pavlovic was right, and Nets across the bat four. Danilo, Vigel and Kone is our midfield trio. Um, Scheidel up in Tete. He's doing quite well. He's had a few starts. He's doing very well. And Burkhart up front. And the reason he's playing is because I've played, if I can find him, Rooney. Is, that's his name, Rooney Rooney. Rooney um, in midweek and he although he's got his match fitness left because I back I I left the training off and give him both or the entire squad two days off in between the game and I'll do the same if I remember after this game ready for the league game which is in three days so yeah that that's a team we're away at PSV Eindhoven we totally dominated the first leg I don't think this leg is going to be the same um being in a way like it's going to be a bit more of a challenge like i said anything less than a three nil defeat is a win so i'm happy to lose two nil i'm happy to lose one nil i'd be happier to win one nil or two nil um yeah let's see how we go and we're playing in our green which is good and it's tete 
Lovely ball across to Vigo now. Can he can he find so he's played it out wide to Nets? We, our link up play and our movement at the moment is really good. It's funny because I rotated the team and that's a giveaway. And that's Burkhart with an away goals don't count anymore. But that makes it 4-0 on aggregate. And yeah, I was um it was quite I wouldn't say funny to watch or even enjoyable to watch, but where I rotated the team round, we were doing the same sort of moves and playing the ball in, but there was nobody there. Uh, we had a lot of passes that normally we would play in this game and there'd be somebody there on the end of it and in, when I rotated the team there wasn't so it's little things like that that make the game a little bit more interesting I feel so yeah we're 1-0 up on the night 4-0 on aggregate so anything less than a 5-0 defeat now is a result and it can't be a 5-0 because we've got a result so anything less than a 4-1 defeat is a result so yeah Pretty good on this, just as well, because two minutes in and they're, they're coming back up. And that's a cracking... Ooh, how did he miss that? He hit it left-footed on the left side of the goal and put it well wide to the right of the goal. Awful. But also very good. <laughs> very uh, very good finishing on in our... In my opinion, for us. Oh, God, I don't know what I'm saying here today. And here we go, and that's cut out by Pavlovic, but only to one of theirs. And Nottingham Forest have just gone 4-2 up against Southampton. That's how far ahead of you guys I am. It's water wall football in my house tonight. The missus is on a night shift, so... And they're playing it in behind us. Gakpo! Gakpo! Is that Liverpool's Gakpo? What's he doing here? And even more importantly, why is he scoring against me? But uh, like I said, we're we're comfortably ahead in this game, and as long as unless we do something really stupid, we should cruise through this. I'm gonna have to. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna pause because I I just need to know if this is it. Blooming well is. Well, well, well. So Liverpool didn't keep him for long, did they? Because he would have been at the um, Liverpool at the start of the save. And here we are, third season, and he's already back at PSV. I don't know whether he's sold or on loan. Didn't look at that bit. So yeah, 32 minutes gone. It's one all. And yeah, as you can see, we get we get quite a bit of the ball these days. And that's over to Posh. Posh has really come along this season. And that's not a bad attempt at a pass cut out of the near post. Danilo, Mr. Reliable in the midfield. Vigo plays it Burkhart caught on the ball a bit there and out and this is what I like we play it around beautiful and there you go and that's number two on the night 2-1 5-1 on aggregate I think we could be onto something here Burkhart got tackled but the ball fell to us nicely out wide to nets drove it in and in fact Burkhart got lucky there because he really missed a kick and it is it gone down as an on goal I wonder. Yes, it has, and uh, and that's only fair because Burkhart totally missed it. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is going really well. Two one at half time. That is what we want to see. And I'm gonna really praise these guys. Do well, get shots away. That's what we want. I didn't actually see that we were. I mean, oh, we are. We're totally as as the first leg. We're totally, totally dominating the game and like I said we would have to do something really really stupid and if we can hold this to the hour mark in 70 minutes I'm going to be resting um, my top players for sure ready for the weekend and Burkhart's in behind he's through one on one with a keeper and that's a cracking finish from Burkhart it's got his goal touch back he had a bit of a spell where he looked like he put his boots on the wrong feet but um, yeah he really has uh, picked up in his second half of the season he's back to the Burkhart that we all know and love cracking finish that was guys cracking finish left footed take the plaudits young man take the plaudits and yeah this is looking really much much better than I could have imagined for this stage considering we struggled to get through um you know, we had to. We were lucky that results went our way um, on the last 
midweek games in that we qualified without actually having to play and get a get a big result against Arsenal as it turned out the one all draw we were through before we played Arsenal so we were able to take it easy I'm going to bring Rooney on because I want you to see how well he gets out wide and how well he doesn't always have an end result but he does get out well out wide and uh, delivers quite a few crosses and I want to rest my main guys here if I can so we're going to do that although they're both playing Mesla aren't they so it doesn't really matter Mizala and um, Frederick coming for him and number five will be Tory for Van der Ven and that's pretty much it so we've rested all our main first team players or at least the what what I consider to be really the backbone of the with the exception of Burkhart if I'd have had six subs I'd have rested him but they're all going to get rest after this game anyway And now I've met Mr. Cody Gakpo here. I doubt I've got the cash for him, have I? He's going to be silly money. Transfer window's coming up. That's what I'm thinking. Do I need a... Yeah, I, I do need to strengthen my attack. Sometimes goals are hard to come by. I think I've got the back four and a midfield somewhere near now. If I can keep hold of Mickey van der Ven, that is. He wants away. Um, he's not happy that I didn't sell him, but... They were offering pennies for him when they should have been offering pennies. Oh, 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 yes, Mr. Burkhart. 4-1 on the night, 7-1 on aggregate. And this was, to say that this was expected would be completely off the mark because I really thought that we would do exceptionally well to get past this um, round and what can I say, we, we've strolled it, it's 7-1 on aggregate, 9.4 for Burkhart, and it's not over yet gents, it's 89 minutes, I'm going to chuck a bit of praise into the guys, because we don't do that enough, and if I can, uh, the way we've done this now, surely Mr Gakpo would be knocking on my door at the end of this game, and saying please come and sign me, I want to come to Germany. I do like Gakpo. I've watched him play him for Liverpool and I, I think he's going to be a, a cracking player. I really do. And that's a uh, penalty? Really? I'm, I'm not complaining. 8-1 is as good as... is better than 7-1. But... Um, it is. And are we going to let Mr Burkhart take this for his hat-trick? I think they will, won't they? I'm sure it's his hat-trick. But I haven't been watching that closely, to be honest. Once we got like three, four up, I've sort of been concentrating on Nottingham Forest a little bit. And Burkhart's there. That's his hat trick. <sighs> what a game. 8 1 on aggregate, guys. 5 1 on the night. What a fantastic team performance. And we are coming into form dead on the right time. We couldn't, could we? Could we pick up a Champions League in our third season? Nah, not a chance, because we, we, we're not good enough to play the top teams, unfortunately. I wish we were. This is sort of our time to look great. Um, it was a fantastic result. But the truth of it is, we are not good enough to compete with the likes of PSG, Liverpool, Real Madrid, Chelsea, Bayern. We just aren't good enough to compete at that level at the moment. We're getting there and what a payday, guys. What a payday. 8.27 million. Wow. That is going to really boost it up. And this is what I want. So I've got 10 million left. Um... I'm trying to think whether I'm allowed to go and have a look at Mr. Gakpo because I've met him now, haven't I, in the game. I know I'm not allowed to do player searches. I'm allowed to go to players that scouts find. And I'm just thinking whether I can tweak the rules enough to go and make an offer for Mr. Gakpo. I could, but I can't, can I? I haven't got nowhere near enough money. I've got to scout him. Why wouldn't I? but I can't sign him, I haven't got the money unless the club comes to me and says 
here I have an hundred million pound for being so good because club vision I was struggling with a C I'm up to a B now they're pleased with everything disappointed with the commercial but I haven't got the money to sign the big players and I've got to sign players to sell for profit so I can't sign big players and sell them for profit so because I'm already paying the premium on them so I've received a million pound from the Benzabaini transfer deal players play 20 league games for whoever that is and here we go guys we are in the last 16 draw and we're watching it live so we've got Barcelona and they are going to play Tottenham we've got Sevilla against Man City oh, that's two nice ones to go out in it who do you want here these I don't know if we're gonna get a German team Benfica I'd take I don't know if we get a, if we can be drawn against a, a German team. Well, I haven't got Benfica, have I? Atletico Madrid. I would definitely take Partenope. So it's Milan, PSG. We're missing it. Oh, there's Arsenal. I don't know if we get Arsenal. Yeah, we we must be able to. Borussia Mönchengladbach. Come on. Liverpool. Oh, bum. Okay, guys, so Leipzig get Villa. The one I wanted gets Real Madrid. Arsenal gets FC Bayern. And that's a draw. I'm confidently going to predict that we don't get into the last eight. I really am. What a big tie. Anyway, guys, that's it. I'm waffling. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to drop a subscription, drop us a like, and yeah, hit that little bell. Thank you for watching, guys. It is appreciated. I, I love making these, and, and I hope you enjoy watching them. Thank you. Take care.